Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the AI features that you didn't know about on the Realme GT70. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the AI Studio. You might not, not know about it. Uh, it's uh, actually the whole app and that we can use. Uh, so first, it's not normally in here uh, as you uh, slide to the right side we need to open up all apps and in here the first thing is the AI studio so uh, let's open it up but remember that if you want to use it uh, you need to have uh, the realme account so uh, simply if you don't have it you need to create it uh, but uh, there's a one catch if you want to use some of those mods that are uh, right in here for example the air portrait AI reimage AI motion all that kind of stuff uh, you need to have uh, those stars, those gems, I don't know, it's like a currency in here uh, and uh, perhaps I think you need to buy those gems or I don't know, make some quests uh, to get them, uh, for example, you need to click on claim oh, now I have some uh, stars uh, so simply click on claim and for example you have a, a bunch of options uh, we can uh, select some I don't know, group fusion or for example, I don't know, uh, Laminia Mal, let's click on generate. Uh, and in here we can add our photos and uh, that kind of stuff. In here we can see an examples, how to use it, mm, and many, many other. For example, the AI portrait, we have, uh, we can select the, I don't know, sunset by the sea, we can generate, and in here again we need to use the photo and add the photo of ourselves. Uh, so it's pretty fun to, uh, to use this feature, mm, I'll leave it to you to play with it, uh, but remember that you need to have those stars, this currency in here. Uh, so that's the first thing. Mm, yeah, now we need to go back. Uh, Alright, and now the next thing uh, will be the AI remover. Mm, and it's used for, uh, I don't know, uh, for example for... Mm, deleting the uh, reflections on the photos, erasing the objects, so uh, first uh, let me uh, take some photos. Mm, I'm gonna take a few of them, so... Let's do it, okay, now we need to open up the gallery. Uh, let's take, for example... Oh, my bad, let's open up from the photos. Uh, okay, mm, let's say uh, I'll select that one. Uh, um, I basically use the live photo, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so now uh, let's click on edit. Mm, and in here we have the AI editor. Uh, and in here we have four options. We have the AI eraser, AI ultra clarity, the unblur setting, and the re reflection feature. So maybe let's begin with the AI eraser. In here we need to click that we agree, in here simply click on continue. Mm, we have uh, three ways uh, uh, how we can uh, use it. Uh, we can use this more or less, so we have the paint over and the remove people option. So uh, if you want to use the smart lasso, you need to uh, simply using your finger select the part of the screen. Now we can release. As you can see now this plan has been uh, automatically uh, selected uh, and it's currently being released. And boom, you can see that it disappeared. Uh, only the shadow remained, but don't worry, uh, we can uh, also mm, get rid of it. So, uh, as you uh, uh, hold the compare, you can see how it is uh, before, uh, how it was before, how it is right now. We now can click on done. Mm. And now, uh, I don't remember on which. Uh, Thing it was to remove the this shadow. Uh, perhaps it's my I'm saying wrong. Uh, it might not be available, but I think it should be okay. It's not that option. Uh, no, not the unblur. Uh, but of course, as you can see, we have that option also uh, for unblurring the photo. Mm. As you hold on compare, there are no big differences. Uh, but it might... 
I know it won't be writing here. So unfortunately, we cannot use uh, erase the shadows. Uh, sometimes it happens, but the erasing of the uh, of the of the plant has been successful. Oh, actually, if you try, you might uh, do something just like I did. Uh, right in here so let's say the erasing of the shadow is possible but uh, if you take a closer look uh, it's not uh, in that uh, good quality but it's possible as you can see so you need to simply uh, select the paint over then uh, cover the part where the shadow is and now uh, it should be removed okay it has been removed but some uh, some parts uh, are still uh, remaining of this photo uh, if you want to of course to save click on done click on done once more click on save we can replace the original or save the copy let's say i'll save the copy boom and now uh, now we have it so that was the original photo and that's the edited one uh, all right, so now you know how to use the AI eraser. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is uh, the AI planner. Uh, to do it, uh, to enable this feature, we need to open up the settings. Uh, in here, simply scroll down until you find the accessibility and convenience. Uh, and in here, under the AI assistant, we have the AI planner. So on any screen except the home screen, uh, tap twice on the sensor on the back of the phone to activate AI Planner. Uh, recognize screen content and automatically add events to color them. So that's what this option provides. We need to enable it, click on Agree and Continue. Uh, we have uh, below the creation method, uh, we can select the auto create or uh, to ask it, uh, or if you want it to be asked, uh, and you can also read the about AI Planner in here. You can see what are the supported languages, and the licenses we can read them mm, so now let's try to open it up we need to tap uh, on any other screen uh, to activate it so let's say we'll do it right now okay i tapped twice uh, you could see uh, i hope so uh, you can see this rainbow uh, things but currently nothing is happening Uh, okay, it's, it said that I can't use it in here. So, for example, maybe let's launch the uh, notes and now maybe something will happen. Uh, okay, I don't know how this works. Uh, but... It should add something to the calendar, but uh, I don't know why it didn't. Or maybe it did, but... Oh, maybe let's tap once more, but nothing's happening. Maybe I need to open up something in here. I'll leave it to you. Maybe uh, it will be working uh, on your uh, on your case. Uh, in my case, it doesn't want to work. I don't know actually what this option does. As you can see, I cannot even do anything. Uh, so um, the next thing I wanted to show you was, uh, as I remember, the AI Smart Loop. Um, it's right in here. Uh, so. Uh, Mm, it's enabled right in here mm, and to open it up uh, you need to give me a second because uh, I need to enable it right in here mm, first um, to do it we need to take a screenshot 
do it like that now we need to quickly hold it using our finger and now select it into the right side so uh, using uh, this uh, screenshot in here we have this uh, half cir circle that uh, appeared right now when I sticked the, uh, the screenshot to the edge of the screen and now for example I can use this uh, screenshot to open up the Google and as I release my finger you can see what happened we can get started oh and actually nothing happened but let's try once more boom on the Google release your finger Oh, okay, my bad. Mm. You can't use it uh, because uh, uh, and we cannot, uh, for example, use this as such an image. Oh, actually, we can. Uh, I thought it's not possible. Mm. If you select it on the mm, uh, Google search, uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have a similar screenshot to those that uh, I have uh, taken. In a, in a, within a few seconds uh, and that's basically what the uh, what this option provides um, of course I mean uh, the Google one uh, version uh, because in here for example we can print our screenshot we can use it sometimes that screenshot likes to uh, disappear and it's pretty annoying mm, we can print our mm, screenshot we can use the file log mm, and now to get more uh, features on this uh, smart loop we need to uh, gently slide to the upside or to the downside but uh, i don't know why it started to be pretty fast it shouldn't work that uh, in a normal way I don't know why it's in that speed it should gently uh, rotate but as you can see in my case mm, it was like 200 kilometers per hour and uh, we can also click on uh, manage apps ah I don't know why mm, because uh, this is the uh, this the smart loop uses the AI alg uh, algorithm for uh, the most used apps uh, and currently there are no uh, recommended apps for now in the smart loop because uh, the phone doesn't know yet uh, what apps I use uh, the most uh, what apps you should uh, you use uh, the most time and that kind of stuff so for example uh, let me add notes manually uh, I don't know the Chrome and my files and let's say the messages and now as I'll take a screenshot it should be fine Yet still something strange is going on. But if you want to rotate, uh, place your face, to, uh, your finger to the upside or to the downside. And in here you can see that those things are changing. Something weird is happening to them, but I don't know why. Maybe on your phone it will be normal. Uh, because when I was testing it uh, on other device, it was gently, gently looping. But I don't know why it uh, it's happening in that kind of stuff uh, uh, so for uh, I didn't show that so for example with the um, smart loop uh, now I can drag the screenshot straight into the notes when I release my finger this screenshot has been saved in the notes for later boom and in here you can for example create your heading and then follow your and uh, continue with um, with your uh, with your note. You can add anything that you want. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to show you uh, is the uh, AI in the notes exactly. So, uh, for example, let's uh, create a new note. Uh, I want to default notebook? Okay. Let's create a new one mm, and let's say now I will mm, I'll create a list of groceries so let's say uh, we uh, need to note in, in a normal way simply I will type list of 
groceries uh, I can also um, type with the mistakes uh, and the AI should uh, replace the mistakes uh, with uh, uh, good words and good letters so for example let's do it in that way uh, Okay, uh, I'll make a quick mm, list of mm, groceries mm, uh, with the with mistakes. Mm, I don't know what more. <laughs> Okay, let's say that way. Uh, and now we need to select the uh, this icon. It's the uh, AI. Boom. AI assistant for notes. Uh, and say uh, uh, we need to click on format. Click on agree. And now it should uh, correct the mistakes. Boom. As you can see, everything is fine right now. So now we can replace it. Now we have this fine in a fine way uh, fine way and still we can also adjust some things uh, for example we can uh, clean up if there are some mistakes uh, it will be simply corrected uh, if you become refine uh, we can for example the elaborate this grocery list let's wait until it will be generated boom you can see that it looks uh, like that right now and uh, we have, this is the version 1 and this is the version 2 the AI did it for us we can also shorten it but thing, uh, I think there are no things that we can shorten from this normal grocery list okay that's the version 3 uh, we can change uh, that thing into more uh, formal but I don't know how <laughs> the grocery list can be uh, formal, but you know what I mean. It's not used only for the grocery list, but if you're making a note, you can make it more formal. Mm, and the last uh, thing is the casual casual form. So mm, you can see that AI can also generate that. So let's click on replace as the last thing. And boom, 83 words has been added. Alright, that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. 